Hey guys, so I recently decided I wanted to get into oil painting, so I picked up some oil painting supplies and I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. So, starting with my materials to paint on. I didn't want to get canvas specifically because I want a really smooth surface and I can use canvas if I gesso it and sand it and stuff but I wanted to try out some of this stuff so I picked up some birch painting panel 9 by 12 nice and smooth this is what the back looks like and then I also got this gallery cradle board with gesso so it's already white and gessoed and this one is a 10 by 10 that's what the back looks like this one's a little thicker than the other one and I got this exact same one in a bigger size this one is an 11 by 14 so it's a bit bigger and these are relatively small I'm gonna just say canvas these are relatively small canvases but uh, I would like to try some bigger ones but first I want to see if I even like this board maybe it's not something I'll be into so I didn't want to go with something too big right off the bat next up some gesso for priming surfaces if I need to um, it's just it just makes a good surface to paint on so got some of that next up I got a bunch of palette knives oh these ones are coming through a side hole Boop. and I have two different sizes there's a bigger one and a smaller one these are the two different sizes there so I got a handful of them so I can be using multiple ones at once like in a single painting without having to clean it off between mixing colors so there's those I got some linseed oil which is used for I guess you'd say watering watering down your paint just making them a bit thinner so just a small little jar of that I picked up some new paint brushes. I'm sure some of the paint brushes I already have could be used for these paints, but I wanted to pick up some specifically for oil painting or just, some, not all these brushes are exclusive to oil paint. Some can be used with acrylics, but uh, I just wanted some brushes that I bought for the purpose of using with my oil paints. So um, the brand is Desairs for most of them. So this that's the store I actually bought them from. So it's this, the store's house brand. I got these ones. There's some little ones. This one's also Desairs. This is also Desairs. And so is this one. I like this one because it has a very fine point even though the entire, like it's not thin all around like this one. This one's thin from top to bottom, but this one starts thicker and then tapers. And then this flat brush and a round brush. At least this one is a Zen Royal and Lang Nickel. Okay, <laughs> I got it because it's quite soft, so it might be good because I'm worried some of these ones with coarser bristles might leave too much texture. I feel like I want a really smooth blended look, so we'll see. I haven't done any oil painting before, so it's, it's going to require some experimentation to see what I want in terms of brushes and materials. This one here, oh, it's covered. I don't even know what it's called. It probably says squirrel, but I really don't know. Uh -huh. It does say squirrel. And this one was a really cheap brush. It was $2.30 or something, something super cheap. But I thought it might be good for just blending out large areas. So picked up that one. And that's all I have so far for brushes. I almost forgot to mention that I also got these storage cups. So if I have excess paint mixed, I can put them in these tubes to keep them organized and keep them moist and stuff. So these are just artist loft brand that I got at Michaels and there's two different sizes. Now for the paints themselves, I decided to go with these Holbein Duo Aqua oil paints and these are actually water soluble oil paints, not traditional oil paints. And so when it comes time to clean the brushes and things, you can just clean them in water. And that's part of the reason why I went with them. I just felt like it was a little more simple. So. Yeah, I got this set of 20 colors and they're 20 milliliter tubes. That's what it looks like. Two of the tubes are bigger. This one with permanent white is 50 mils. Then there's also a quick dry medium that's also 50 mils. The rest are 20. I'll go over the colors real quick. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's alizarin crimson, cadmium red, and some are labeled as different things like hue, light hue, or deep hue. So that one's a deep hue. Vermilion, Jaune Brillant, why is that one in French? <laughs> Lemon Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow, Light, 
Viridian, Cadmium Green Light, Cadmium Green Hue, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Light, Prussian Blue, Cobalt Blue, Mauve, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, and Ivory Black. So that is that set, and I actually also bought some individual colors. Actually, let's just leave this open so we can compare it to the extra colors I got. I'm sure I could make all of these additional colors just by mixing these ones, but these are colors I feel like I might use a lot of, and so I wanted to get spares, and these are actually bigger than the ones that come in here, so I better use a lot of them. <laughs> so I have Lilac light magenta. I got more permanent white because I feel like I'm going to be using a lot of white. So yeah, I got a lot between those two. I got a coral red. Looks a little more oranger on the label than I thought it was going to be. So I don't know. We'll see how it actually ends up looking. Yeah, see it looks more pink once you see it on the inside. So yeah. And gray of gray. I know you can make gray by mixing black and white, but these are just colors I thought I might need. Horizon Blue, that one looks really pretty. So does this one, Ice Green, Naples Yellow, and Emerald Green Nova. So those are all my colors. And that is it really for the haul, but I'm just gonna read some of what it says in this pamphlet about these paints. This isn't sponsored or anything. None of this is, I'm just... <laughs> I'm kind of reading it for my own information and it might be useful to some of you. So it says, 100 high, highly pigmented artist grade color, suspended in a water soluble cold pressed linseed oil. Excellent life at light fast readings, similar to that of traditional oil color, blah, blah, blah. Compatible with all media, including traditional oil color, watercolor, acrylic gouache, and acrylic gouache. I never heard of acrylic gouache. <laughs> When mixing duo with traditional oil color, water solubility will be lost when exceeding 30% traditional oil in the mixture. So that's neat. And then it shows the colors here. Nice. That will actually be really handy for when I want, if I ever want to buy more colors, I don't know. And then tips. Drying time is comparable to traditional oil straight out of the tube. Water will mat down the surface when mixed with duo. Quick dry medium or painting oil is ideal for glazing. Traditional oil mediums may be used, but mixture will lose water solubility. Traditional oil painting techniques apply for duo, fat over lean. Water aids when mixing duo with other water-based media like watercolor, gouache, acrylic to ensure a durable finish. Use traditional oil varnish when sealing your duo painting. That's what I wanted to mention is I actually forgot to pick up varnish when I was at the store, so I'm kind of kicking myself. <laughs> A stiff synthetic brush is best when painting with Duo. And then it mentions the linseed oil that I bought. Increases the transparency and gloss finish while slowly drying, slowing drying time of Duo. Can be thinned with water. So, yep, that is what I got. And that is it for my oil painting haul. I'm super excited to use these. Actually, by the time this video is uploaded, you probably already saw me using them in one of my videos already. So, yay! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So far, I've got some body movement, just the body, nothing else. Just the up and down. Okay, here it is again with a bit of body movement. It's a little weird, especially without the wings, but it'll be good. It'll be good. I also have the text done which I made by cutting up letters from